Good afternoon. It's a beautiful, cool, cloudy, a little windy, and a little calm before the storm here. Got a nice big snowstorm on the way, so you know I'm excited about the winter activities coming up. Hope you're staying hydrated. Today we're at Spring Valley Nature Center and Heritage Farm out in Schaumburg, Illinois. And if you'd like to visit for yourself, got the address down in the description for you. Today's message is, how much do you smile every day? I love smiling. Smile is my favorite. <laughs> Anyone know that movie? It not only brings me joy to smile, but to see a smile on someone else's face, and even more so when I'm the one that unlocks it. Smiling just seems synonymous with friendliness. Don't you instantly feel more comfortable and relaxed when the person or people you're with are smiling and happy? This place is actually under some major construction. There's a nice play zone here, but I think they're mostly looking to redo the design here of the parking area and the welcome center. A little bit of everything out here. Not very often I get a nice little overlook, outlook like this. <laughs> A good-spirited personality and a positive-natured character is so important for your life and the people around you. Working to obtain these qualities and building off them is helpful in assisting you and allows you to navigate life's pathways with a helpful outlook. An outlook that seeks happiness and strives to make other lives better. Think about if the world worked like this. Everyone making the best out of their situations, helping promote others, and just spread goodwill and energy daily. Think about if everyone did that. I used to look at the world through those rose-colored glasses, thinking that everything could be good and there could be no evil in the world. And although I don't think we'll ultimately be able to get to that point, I do hope it though. I believe the good outweighs the bad, and good always wins. The light will always expose the dark. And while fighting the negatives and overcoming as a global force may seem impossible on the surface, the more people that jump on board will cause a ripple in the water that will grow into a tidal wave. If we start small and work our way up the line, lasting change can be achieved, and life lessons can help positively impact more people. Smiling is just so easy to do. They say it takes more muscles to smile than to frown. Hopefully your jaw doesn't get too sore, although it is a good feeling when you're laughing or smiling so hard that your face starts to hurt. <laughs> I do like that. But like I said earlier, a smile can act as a friendly invitation. It can invite others to interest in your uplifted personality. What I ultimately wanted to reference in this message is energy. Energy is everything. Do you see other people's energy regularly? I think it's very important to pick up on this energy. It can tell what the person is feeling at that moment and act as a gateway to the spirit and soul. You can get all sorts of different readings off people and it gets pretty helpful when you can regularly identify them. Honestly, I don't know if this is part of the trail at all, but nice little, nice little walking path. I'm not very picky on where I'm hiking out. <laughs> it is good to be out here in general. Energy is everywhere. If you're not aware or if you're not regularly looking for it, give it a try. Next time you talk to someone, how is your tone, your delivery of your speech, body language, your overall happiness. The energy you conveyed at that moment was a direct reflection of your energy release at that time. You can also look for these same things when you're talking to others. You never know what the energy you portrayed in that interaction will do for that other person. The energy you do portray, whether it is positive or negative or indifferent, whatever it is, can cause the person you're talking to to have a very unique reaction. I mean, no telling what, what could happen for their day or for their week or down the line. You don't know what kind of influence you have on someone when you're saying something to them at that time. Just something as simple as smiling and saying hi or a wave could be enough to brighten someone's day up so much that they go out and inspire someone else or uplift their family or friends or pick up a positive habit. There are just so many benefits of putting out your good spirit to people and seeing what they take from it. And that's why it's so important to me to continuously be on a positive spirit and convey positive messages because I never know what my words will do for someone else. And if I'm giving out words, I wanna put out the best energy into the world so that the best things happen to you guys. Just uplifting one person's day can cause a butterfly effect of greatness. In this revolving sequence of events of people continuously giving goodness out to others, 
after they've been given goodness to them, can just continuously revolve. And I do like to hope that other people continue to spread the goodness once it's been given to them. Here's a real short and simple example. You've likely been to a building and when you're about to go in the door, there's someone in front of you, they hold the door for you and you feel a little more obliged to hold the door for the next person, right? So have you done that to where that's happened to you and then you stand at the door for a couple seconds or <laughs> sometimes it can last a minute if you're at a pretty busy place, but that's just an example of spreading positivity and goodness and how it reflects onto other people. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for with this message is if we could just have like a revolving sequence of events of goodness. And what I'm hoping for is that one good action of holding the door for someone will inspire so many more people to do good things and will just expand into the whole world being able to benefit off of that one action. Just imagine that you hold the door for someone one day and then a year from now, that one good deed has made its way around the world and in China, someone's holding the door for someone else. Very simple example, but just imagine if that's how things work and you could track your good deeds. Huh, tracking your good deeds. That's an interesting one. Well, if that's a real idea, I hope you heard it here first. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope the message was impactful. Hope it was positive for you. And I hope it will help you spread good deeds, spread good words, and spread good actions. I really hope to be inspiring with these messages. So please let me know how I'm doing down in the comments. And as always, let me know where I should visit next down in the comments. My name is Jake Fox. This is Walk, Talk, Bike, and Hike. And I will see you in the next adventure.